Howdy y'all, this is your host Road. welcome back to Love It Games. We are playing a little Manor Madness. Don't know much about this game, but I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video, and we're going to see what this is about. The sensitivity is low. Maybe turn that up to four. Welcome to our Man and Madness course at Bolter High. Our Afterlife Institution is thrilled to have you among us. In the upcoming program, we will teach you the secrets and special ways of haunting in order to prepare you for your final exam. Your mission is to haunt and scare mortals away from your assigned manor, demonstrating all that you learn at Bolter High. We'll keep close watch and grade your performance along the way. We wish you good luck and we will see you soon. Eternally yours, literally. Hans Schattenberg, Polter High Principal. Alright, assignment. Welcome, student. In the first assignment, you'll learn the basics of spooking a human. It will teach you to master the delicate art of haunting. You practice on your first human and make her go insane. Grade start. Continue the tutorial after disabling, you can re-enable it. Yeah, we'll continue because I don't know what we're doing. Fly around, WASD. Older guys who have special senses to help you in finding possessable objects to scare victims. Use the polter sense, hold right mouse button. Look around with your polter sense, find and interact with objects that will be highlighted in orange. You can use E to interact with these objects to scare them or people close to them. Every object within the manor has a geist gauge. This Charge handles how scary the object is when used. Once an object has been used, it needs to recharge its scariness over time. The amount of charge is shown in the outline using your polter sense through the round clock when hovering over an object. Press R to continue. Throwables. Another way to scare your victim is by throwing objects. You can find these with your polter sense. Objects highlighted blue. You aim the object by holding left mouse button. Uh, I can't see a thing. And it'll show an arc. If you want to cancel, press C. If you want to leave an object, you can depossess it anytime by pressing Q. Congratulations, you scared your first human on your own accord. In the top left of the screen are the visitor's faces. Each face tracks how scared the human is. Once they are full, they'll turn tail. There are numerous ways to scare victims. Be sure to try out different objects to be most effective in scaring them. The way you scare matters, as at the end of every level, you'll be graded for your performance. You can open or pause menu anytime in progress of your assignment. At the end, you'll receive your final grade. A 
We got a B. Used all the objects. Speed was down. That's all right. All right. Now that you proved what you learned in the final exam, it's time to discover unique fears and exploit them. You are humans are not scared easily, even soothe others. You do not think that we let you graduate so easily, did you? Here's your competition, the realtor. He's a soothing presence for the current room he's in, making it impossible to scare other humans while he's close by. He's unaffected by your scares, but he too can be distracted. To make sure your scaring is effective, all right. I don't know what I possessed. That happened so much. Must be the fog of age playing tricks on me. Um. and possess oh he's super annoying in me And you're the realtor. First human piss her pants a little bit. Each human has their own unique phobia, meaning you're scarce. They're an object, be sure to look for it. Alright. Someone to scare. <laughs> now he is out here. He's back in here. Oh my god. Oh, I think I got rid of him. Oh, 
place. It is a battle trying to keep him away from the person. Bit, but we got it. We completed the final exam. Got our diploma. a fun little game is a lot shorter than I thought. Certificate of Graduation. This certificate is proudly presented to Gustav Dunkelfeld. The board of Polter High hereby confers upon him the spectacular title of Poltergeist. He has successfully completed the required course of ghostly study. He will hold the aforementioned title with all ethereal honors, rights, and privileges. In recognition of his fantastic efforts and achievements in being an outstanding student and passing the course of Man of Madness at Poulter High. Congratulations on your hard work. May your future endeavors be as hauntingly successful as your time at Poulter High. Nice. Oh, well, that was, uh... Manor Madness is real short, like a really short, way shorter than I thought. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, may go back and play it a little bit, see if I can do better, but I mean, like it's a really short game. It was fun. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Wonderful day. God bless.